Okay, after I made some changes on the fusion page, and went back to the timeline in the edit page, DaVinci Resolve crashed. And I can no longer open this project. Every time I try to open it, DaVinci Resolve crashes. Restart DaVinci Resolve, create a new project, there is no problem. Opening an existing project was also okay. While I was inside DaVinci Resolve, I opened the project manager and tried to open this problematic project, again it crashed. Unfortunately, I didn't enable the project backups in the preference, I think by default it is disabled. So I don't have any previous backups that I can revert to. I have no choice but to fix the project file or start over from scratch. I will keep this backup option enabled from now on just in case. Since DaVinci Resolve always try to open the last timeline that was in editing previously, there must be something wrong with it while I was playing with fusion settings, which caused the project crash. So theoretically if I can change project file to erase the memory of that last timeline, it should be able to start the project without loading the corrupt timeline. Restarted the program, in the project manager window, open the database panel on the left side, right click the local database. Choose open file location from the pop-up menu, and I found the project database file used for this project. In the Windows File Explorer, select the folder path, press Ctrl-C to copy the folder path to clipboard. Luckily the database used by DaVinci Resolve is SQLite. And we can use DB Browser for SQLite to check and modify the data inside. Start DB Browser for SQLite, click Open Database in the toolbar, paste the project folder path to the folder input field in the file selection window. Double-click the database file project.db to open the project database, go to the Browse Data tab. Select table sm underscore project, there is only one record of the definition of this project. Search for the column called Current Timeline Index, change to a different value, in my case it is 6, and I changed it to 0. It's lucky that DaVinci Resolve has a good naming convention, I didn't spend too much time to figure out the table and the column I was looking for. Now click the Close Database button in the toolbar. Click the Save button to confirm the change. Start DaVinci Resolve, open the project that I just modified. The project opened without crashing. I found the timeline I was editing earlier and tried to open it, but the program crashed again. Restart DaVinci Resolve, since now I have the project backups enabled, I should be able to restore a backup from the past. In the Project Manager, right-click the failed project, select Project Backups. Choose the latest backup and click the Load button, give the project a new name, for now I just leave the name as suggested. Close the Backup List window, in the Project Manager, open this newly restored project, and it is now loaded successfully. It's now the time to get rid of that bad timeline, and avoid future corruption to the project file. In order to have these backups available, we need to turn on the project backups in the preference. In the preference window, select the user tab, in the project save and load section, check the project backups option, you can adjust backup schedules if you want. That's all for now, hopefully this video can help you fix a corrupt project file. Thanks for watching and see you next time.